Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. Let me get some housekeeping out of the way really quickly. Strapless top, I'm not naked. I just wanted to show my glowy shoulders. Second off, yes, I'm wearing two different looks. I had four of these little guys to try and to save my skin, I just did two looks on one face. <laughs> for today's video, I'm going to be showing and reviewing for you guys the four new shades of the Kaja Beauty Bento Bouncy Shimmer Eyeshadow Trios. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on these and seeing a tutorial using each of these, then just keep watching. very intrigued by Kaja Beauty for the past few weeks. I think they have really beautiful products and they're cute and fun and they're good quality. I've been a fan lately of their little eyeshadow trios and so originally I believe there was three or four colors in the line. I have a couple floating around in my collection but these are all three different shimmery shades. Kaja actually released four new shades of these, but what makes them different is that they aren't all shimmers. All four of the new ones contain two mattes and one shimmer, so this way you can create more of a whole look. Now, I really did like the shimmery ones, but I like the idea of being able to create a look, and I was curious of how the mattes worked. So let me just go over the facts about these guys really quickly. So these are available on Sephora right now. They just released a few days ago. They are $21 each. And altogether, Kaja has, I believe, eight different shades of these. But these four new ones are the ones that contain mattes. So online, it says these bouncy eyeshadows come packaged in bite-sized shimmer stacks or trios of mattes and shimmer pigments that apply effortlessly with your fingertips. Kaja's glitter arrangement technology delivers uniform shimmer in every swipe, perfect for quick, easy eye looks on the go. Now, I don't want to give away too much about these guys, but I will say these are perfect for on the go. As you can see, I created some very easy, simple looks, so I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm just going to take you guys straight into the demo. So, just so you know, what I will be wearing on my eyelids to prime is just the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. So the first trio we are going to be working with is number five, Hello Azalea. So on the top, you have your shimmery pink color. The center color is a very vibrant hot pink matte. And then the third color is a really pretty plum. So just by following this, I think I am going to keep it pretty simple. So I'm going to start off with this color right here, that middle color. Let's see. So this is very, very pigmented. I would recommend tapping it off of your brush first, but okay, that applied super easily. It's blending very, very well. If you hear noises in the background, it's a Sunday afternoon, so people in my neighborhood are doing yard work. Okay, so that blended <laughs> super duper smooth, okay. So by the way, I used a MAC 226, I think, and then I'm taking a Morphe M433 and I'm taking the bottom plum shade and we're going to use this in the outer corner. This is going to be how I do most of the looks, but I think this is just the best way to play with these colors. So I think with this color, it works best when you pat the shade onto the lid first so it, color doesn't fly everywhere. And now we're going to start blending. So it applied pigmented. It's not patchy and it's blending very, very well. And this is my first experience with uh, the matte formula from Kaja because they don't have anything else that has matte eyeshadows in it. And wow, I knew I love their shimmery colors, but they're matte. I mean, you see this. This is crazy. And I'm going to go in with the pink color really quickly just to brighten that back up. So now we're going to go with the first color, which is the shimmery color. Assuming that these are the same formula as their other shimmer shadows, this you can use dry for a light wash or you can use over a glitter glue for a super crazy look. So I'm just going to use my finger on a dry eyelid, no less. And look at that. Do you, do you guys see that? So if you really want to kick up the intensity or you are just scared of fallout, use this with a glitter glue. But I just wanted to show you how well these work without a glitter glue. I would definitely recommend using your fingers though to apply. All right, and then I'm going to take the Morphe M562. I'm going to do the same thing that I did to the top of my crease. I want that pink to be right here on the inner part. 
And I'm just going to use the same brush. I'm going to mix in some of that plum color. So the mattes are a little bit powdery, but they're not out of control like ABH shades. They're actually kind of perfect, if you ask me. I'm going to take a bullet brush really quickly. This is just a random Morphe brush. And I'm going to put more of that glitter shade right there. Okay, I love that. Number five, Hello Azalea, is fire. So now we're going to move on to number six, Poppy Champagne. Since there are four of these and my eyes are really sensitive, I'm just going to do one look on each eye. Poppy Champagne. You have this really pretty yellow gold glittery shade at the top. And then you have this like orangey peach color, which is matte. And then you have a matte kind of light red shade. So I guess I'm going to do it a little bit differently than I did this side, just to keep things interesting, I suppose. I'm actually still going to start off with the middle shade right here. I'm taking a Morphe brush. I don't know what it's called. It's from a set, but I'm patting that in the middle everywhere. So I'm putting that on the lid and the center of the crease. And blending that and as you can see I applied this shade with a blender brush and it is very very pigmented so this is gonna be kind of a centerpiece of the look and I'm just gonna kind of wipe my brush off on my hand and I'm gonna go in with the reddish shade so this one's a little bit more vibrant rather than deepening so this one doesn't define the eye that much but it is very complementary of that orange but this particular trio definitely does not contain as much depth and i'm gonna reapply some of that orange to bring back a little bit of brightness fusing these together as you can see it's very very simple that took like 30 seconds to create that gorgeous blend okay and now i'm taking the refer number two brush and i'm going to take that top color and i'm just gonna place that on the inner third of my lid and I'm gonna blend that upwards. And again, I'm using this dry. So this is gonna add that kind of well bam to the look. And I'm going to use this brush to kind of blend the glitter outward a little bit so that it looks more fused. And then for my lower lash line, I'm taking the Morphe M507 and I'm just gonna take the darkest color and I'm just gonna run that under my entire lower lash line. Wow, okay, so that was super easy to create two different looks. That's insane. So I'm actually gonna go off camera, finish the looks kind of, add some lashes, and I'll be right back to tell you about the first two that I tried. So just so you could get a final feel for the first two that I tried, I put on lips, and then all I did was put on mascara to kind of make the looks feel a little bit more complete. But the first one that we tried, Hello Azalea, I absolutely love. I love that there's this more cool toned option and then also a warm toned option for two different types of people. And what I can say about each of these is the quality is equally just as good. Um, and the matte formula really surprised me how good it is. Formula wasn't too dry. There's not going to be any fallout as long as you tap your brush off. They blend beautifully as you saw. I don't know. These are just really, really good quality. So I am going to take off what I have right now and then we are going to try the remaining two. All right, so now it's time to play with the other two. So I'm going to use number seven, Glowing Guava on this one. And I will say by swatching, I think this one was my favorite. So on the top one, you actually have this kind of mauve brown shade that's matte. The middle color is actually the shimmer shade and this shimmer shade is definitely the most pigmented of the four that are in this release and then you have kind of this burgundy berry shade i'm going to be taking the wayne goss 17 brush and we're going to start off with the lightest matte shade i do have mac painterly paint pot on and this is just going to go all over the crease okay um blended itself and this is actually like a really gorgeous transition shade. Wow. I'm just going to go ahead and use the same brush and I'm going to grab the darker shade and blend that in the outer corner. Nothing really special with this look. Kind of bring that into the crease and blow it out. And then I'm just going to use my finger to apply the shimmery shade. I wanted to use this wet, but this one is the most pigmented deep shimmery shade of all four of the new ones. So this one I just think I'm going to pat on. This is going to go everywhere. 
Then I'm gonna mix the two matte shades and just really quickly run them on my lower lash line. So this one so far is the deepest one. You can really create kind of this really gorgeous, glittery, smoky eye. And I really like this one. Again, consistent quality. This shimmer shade is absolutely gorgeous, but definitely the deepest. I really like that one. So now we are going to move on to the last one, which I think is going to be a favorite of most people. This is number eight, Chocolate Dahlia. So the first one is a very bright, light, shimmery color. The middle shade is a more cool toned brown. And then we have just a dark chocolate brown. So, so this one is a more neutral toned trio and I really, really like it. So I really think most of you guys will like this one. So I'm taking a Morphe E27 brush and I'm taking the middle shade, which is the cool toned light brown shade. And that's going to be the transition. Next, I'm taking a refer number one brush and I'm going to dig that into the deep chocolate shade and I'm going to create kind of a halo eye. So this I'm going to blend on the inner and outer corners of my eye. And since I haven't yet showed you application over a glitter glue, I am going to show you that. So I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue and I'm just putting a little bit of glitter glue right into the center of my eyelid. I'm going to dig into my refer number two brush and we're going to use the top glittery shade and just pat that on. Now this color would be bright without the glitter glue, but this just adds the extra glam to it. Oh yeah, that's pretty. And I'm gonna blend everything out really quickly. And then just to create a really smoky effect, I'm gonna take this dark brown and I'm gonna run that all over my lower lash line. I will say I noticed that this chocolate brown shade is a little bit more powdery than the other matte shades. So just be aware of that when you're using this. I'm gonna pop just a little bit of the sparkly right here, right here. So I'm going to put on mascara and I'll be right back to give you my final thoughts on all four of these. All right, so I am back. I know I look a little crazy with two different eye looks on, but I did just apply some mascara and you guys, if you couldn't already tell, I am obsessed with these new colors. I hadn't really heard too many people talk about the fact that they were adding new colors to the collection, but I'm glad I decided to pick these up because I like these even more than the other trios that they had because you can create full looks with them. I do love their shimmering formula, but turns out their matte formula is amazing as well. I was doubting this release a little bit because I liked the shimmer formula so well and I was just thinking, oh, okay, and then we're going to get some mattes, but these are such good mattes that this release is super valuable as well. I think that all four create very beautiful, cohesive looks. None of these four with the colors that were in there I did I feel confused by. I, they all worked together. If you aren't the most creative when it comes to coming up with looks, these make it so easy and simple for you. They're super simple to throw it in your bag. You have a few to choose from, so if you know you want a neutral look, you can grab this guy. If you know you want a brighter look, you can grab this this guy so I just really like how tiny and cute they are and the quality of these are amazing I am honestly so shocked now the one thing I will say about these is they're supposed to be like bouncy eyeshadows these don't these aren't bouncy they're like regular powder eyeshadows the uh, matte formula is very creamy you know how a lot of makeup has that bouncy formula this this isn't bouncy but they are freaking fantastic of the four, I'm just going to talk about my personal favorites. I love a good neutral brown, like nothing too warm. So I really do like the Chocolate Dahlia, and I feel like a lot of you guys are going to like this one as well. I also am very into purple and pink eyeshadows, and I really think Hello Azalea is really fun if you like those brighter colors. I think this purple is very unique, and it also is just such good quality. That all over the lid is going to be beautiful. And then the shimmery shade in here is also gorgeous and that's not to say I don't like the other two because I really do like them I just think that chocolate Dahlia and hello azalea are my favorites but I mean glowing guava I think will be another popular one because this is a really pretty look and then poppy champagne I'm just not super into warm tone sunshiny colors as much as I am into other tones so I do like it a lot it's just not my personal preference but yeah I really like how in this collection they came out with two colorful ones and then two more neutral ones. I think it's a very well-rounded release and these are totally worth the money. I would definitely recommend you guys pick these up. 
I really feel like I found a hidden gem. I wasn't going to purchase these at first and I'm so happy I decided to because these are definitely going to be my next favorites video. I can tell you that. I love them already. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know if you will be picking these up after watching my video. Which one of the four is your favorite? As always, thank you guys for sticking around and subscribing to my channel. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Have a great day.